my very first mission experience was as a mobilizer. When Kuya Bong tapped me to be their coordinator, um, I remember he dubbed me as I think, the eye in the sky <laughs> because I was doing missions uh, using my cell phone, uh, calling the shots from where I was. Uh, I had to wake up very early just to coordinate and to fall asleep very late. So even though I was done with them, the men of Baika decided to organize a group called Men in Christ. We love to travel, we love to play games with our children. And, uh, sinubukan na rin namin, sabi namin, kung mamamasyal natin tayo, why not, uh, magmigay tayo ng mga Biblia, gawin natin ang purpose, lagi natin ang purpose. Then, then, yun na nagsimula ng mission at Micah. And then, we started uh, in 2008. Uh, we organized the uh, Bible distribution. We coined this activity, particular project, Word Tour. Sabihin ito ay yung salita ng Panginoon ay ikala, igala namin. So, while traveling around the countryside, dumadaan, nadadaan na namin yung mga, nadadaan na natin yung mga churches. Stop kami, then binibigyan namin. My life verse is 2 Corinthians 5 7. I walk by faith and that's right. So if I can, if I, I, I cannot see, um, I can help share the gospel in my environment. I can help inspire others, uh, reaching out to them. John 4 verse 35, and I want to read it. Do you not say four months more and get the harvest? I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. So that's uh, one of the verses that I would like to uh, reflect on because there is no uh, perfect time. Ang sabi dun sa Matthew 28, 19 to 20, ito yung paborito ko talaga eh. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything, everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. So, ito yun. Ito yung nagpapakilo sa, I think, hindi lamang sa akin, kundi sa mission team at Ica. Ito ang ating... Uh, uh, nagpapagalaw sa atin para lumayo at makarating sa ibang lugar, tumulo, makipag-partner, para marami pa ang makarinig ng salita ng Panginoon. We had uh, an experience, uh, I think one of the first was in Mandoro. And, uh, when uh, we went to uh, a remote area um, and um, we went and visited the church. So it so happened that there was a lady pastor that passed by and uh, she was so elated to see us because she was telling us a story that uh, she had Bible study a few days uh, before and uh, one of the promises that she actually said to the people that she was ministering to was she she was going to uh, give them Bibles the next time they meet. So when uh, she saw uh, us uh, distributing Bibles in that church, she was so elated because uh, it was an answer to her prayer. Uh, ganito po yun. Noong kong Sunday, nagka, meron po kaming divine service. Nung ako po ay magmemensahe na, sabi ko po sa mga katutubo, ilabas po natin ang ating Biblia. Eh, ngunit sumagot po yung mga katutubo, Pastora, wala naman po kaming Biblia. Eh, nasabi ko po na ganito, Sige, sa linggo, magdadala ako ng Biblia, kahit apat na Biblia. Pero ang totoo, hindi ko po alam kung saan ako kukuha ng Biblia. Ang gagawin ko po sana, maglilibot po ako sa mga churches at manghihingi po ako kahit kigigisang Biblia. Pero dumating po kayo ngayon bigla. Hmm, hindi ko naman nga po kayo pilala eh. Kaya po, masaya-masaya po ako. Ito pang isa nakaka, 
mga hari na dinala tayo ng Panginoon. Yung after the Typhoon Yolanda, no? nag-serve tayo sa Tacloban, yung ICAR, yung World Tour Team, at nakapagsindi tayo hindi lamang yung salita ng Panginoon, pati yung sa pagkain, pati yung sa dental, sa um, marami tayong naibigay sa kanila, sa mga nasa lanta ng Yunan, bagyong Yolanda. Pero nung kami umakyat sa biliran, sa isang bundok nung sa biliran, nagugulat kayo. May isang church doon na iisa lang ang Biblia, nasa bundok siya, at ang Biblia dahil iisa lang siya, so umiikot yung maraming nagbabasa, kumapal na siya, ganto na siya kakapal. At nagbigay tayo ng Biblia ng isang Biblia. So uh, as a church, uh, collectively, you can work hand in hand to uh, um, come up with goals and uh, mission work that will cater to the different needs of the community. And uh, that's something that uh, our church has. Uh, we have uh, different gifts, uh, and those gifts can be used uh, well and mightily in the service that uh, we want to do for the Lord. Aika World Tour, ang mission team, hindi matatapos ito. Hindi ito mapapagod. Ang ating Panginoon ay may mission na binigay sa atin at uh, alam natin na dapat gawin natin ito. Hindi natin kaya, umiisa lang tayo, kung tayo lang, kung church lang natin. Marami mga churches sa paligid na kailangan ng tulog natin. Sila ay nandunod na sa lugar na yun para kabuti ng mga hindi pa nakatalimang ng salita ng Panginoon. Ang uh, role ng ICA, tulungan natin sila. Bigyan ng Biblia, equip natin sila ng mga trainings ng mga pangangailangan nila. By then, hindi man tayo physically ng durohan niya. Alam natin na ang pagkilos na ito, ang gawa ng Panginoon, ay makakarating, ang salita ng Panginoon ay makakarating kahit sa mga. At yan, ang hamon ko sa mga kabataan, sa mga youth ng ICAR. Sana ipagpatuloy ninyo. Ipagpatuloy natin ang misyon na binigay sa ating ng Panginoon. Ang kanyang salita ay dapat marinig.